Hello everyone and happy Mother's Day to you. I hope that you are all having a great day today. So by now some of you may be wondering where videos have been for almost the past two weeks, especially since um, the arrangement of the month is supposed to come out on the first Friday and we're now well past that. Well, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about today because I've hit a little bit of a roadblock with this particular arrangement and I wanted to talk to you about the challenges that I'm having with it and hopefully kind of explain why it's taking a little longer to get this out. So as I've been doing these arrangements for over three years now, I've encountered a lot of challenges with the organ. And so it's things like, you know, how to make the organ sound like certain instruments, like various different percussion or a strummed guitar or an accordion in some cases, um, to other problems like how do I deal with five lines of music when they all need to sound different and I have three keyboards and one pedal board. So these are some of the things that I've had to, to have to wrestle with and come up with creative solutions for making them work on the organ. And not everything turns out how I normally start out with it, um, you know, due to physical limitations of, you know, only being able to reach so far between the two keyboards as once at once. So it, it's been an interesting challenge, and I, and I always love these kinds of challenges because um, it really it pushes me as an organist to be better and to see you know what what kinds of things can be done, um, you know, and that and that's one of the things that I love about doing these arrangements is it's it's always something new and it's always a new challenge. Um, but with this particular arrangement, I have encountered a problem which has nothing to do with my ability to play. Um, and it has more to do with the limitations of the instruments. And this particular problem that I've encountered is dealing with fast repeated notes in the pedals. Now, pedal notes can usually pray, play pretty quickly, and I think you've probably seen that in some of the other things that I've done. What they're not really designed to do well is to, um, is to play repeated notes quickly. And I'm dealing with 16th notes um, in this piece that they're, they're just not coming off. Um, and l let me give you a little example of what I mean. So here is the specific passage that I'm dealing with. And as you can see, it's all 16th notes and it's very, very low stuff. And that's significant too. And we'll, we'll get into that. We're actually gonna go up into the chamber and look at why we're having some of these issues. Now, normally if it was just plain repeated notes, um, like I have up here, that's something that I can change and you don't necessarily miss as much. As you can see, I've gone through and I have scribbled out a whole bunch of these and I'm just having the pedal line up with what's going on in the right hand and the, the stuff in the left hand will take care of that. And if we, if we listen to that, um, you'll hear, in the hands it works just fine. So as you can hear, there's really no trouble with that. But if we go back to this little melody section down in the pedal, and I'm gonna see if I can get it a decent angle here. So I'm gonna to try to do this and hold the camera and play. Let's, let's see if I can pull this off. So as you can hear from that example, even though you can see that I, I'm getting all the repeated notes in there, they're just not sounding. And there, there's two reasons for this, and one has to do with the actual mechanics in the pedal, which we'll take a look at, at a sec in a second. And the other has to deal with the, the actual structure of the pipes um, and how the air gets to them that is part of what's causing the problem. Um, I also discovered, I, I have one other little problem which has been driving me crazy, and that's I have a note that keeps sticking. Yeah, foot's off the pedal, and I have a note. This went off in church this morning at the end of the first hymn. Thank you. Yeah, you can stay off for good. <laughs> oh, the joys of being an organist. <laughs> yeah, I need to fix that before I get this done, because that's kind of an important stop, and I don't want to do this piece without it. So let's, um, let, let's take a closer look at what we're dealing with here. So this is the part of the pedal board that you don't get to see. 
This is normally fitted under this part of the console. Um, and this is, this is the mechanism that actually allows the notes to play. So what happens when the, when the individual pedals are pushed down, there's a magnet on the back of this little metal strip here, and it comes down past this tube. Now, I don't know what this is called. You people who know how electrical circuits work, you can fill me in. Um, but basically, the magnet um, activates something within here that then feeds into the wires that runs and then translates all the way up there to the various pipes. Um, far more complicated stuff than I know how it works, but that's what happens. So as you can see, when we push one of these pedals down, we hear the note. So you can see when that when the magnet gets close enough, it activates and we hear the sound. The trouble with this is, and this is this is where the problem comes in. Let's find a closer one. There we go. Um, so this is where it activates. The problem is, is the pedal goes all the way down here. So in the time it takes to release, there it's it's a much bigger time were it to register there as there. And th this doesn't seem like much of an appreciable difference when, when it's this close, but when you're trying to do something repeated, if you don't get completely clear, if you don't get the magnet completely clear, then the sound doesn't stop. And this is the sound that we're doing. And to be able to do something this fast, um, it's just, it, it's very difficult to be able to, um, to get that repeated note clear with enough time to be able to stop the sound. Where you don't have that up in the manuals is because it's a much shorter distance that you're dealing with. I, would, I, I, I tried to look at the back of the organ to see, um, to see if I could show you that, but I can't actually see the, the mechanism that makes it sound up there, so I can't show you that. But as I said, this is only part of the problem. The other is actually has to do with the pipe itself and all the mechanics of getting the air into the pipes. So let's go up to the chamber and take a look at that. Welcome to the choir chamber. If this is the first time you have seen the inner workings of the organ, I have several more videos on that. Be sure to check out my organ miniature series. We go into a lot of depth on everything up here that you see, um, and even some things you can't see at the moment, we'll get to. Um, but I go into a lot more depth of what all those things are. So. The first thing that I want to look at is the pipes themselves, and you'll, you'll start to see where more of this problem comes in. So these pipes that you're looking at, the wooden ones, not the chimes, um, these are the bourdon, um, which is what it was called originally. This is currently now our sub base. Now as you look at the bottom, it, it's, a, it's a long distance from where the air is actually let into the pipe, which is down um, underneath the bottom of that to where it actually sounds, which is at the mouth up here. So that distance um, is, is quite a long ways. And I mean, it, it's fractions of a second, but it does make a difference um, when you consider that we have smaller pipes like this, you know, which are, you know, the pipe itself is shorter than the distance um, that the air has to travel to make it sound in, in the lar larger pipes. And that's mostly what we're dealing with in the pedals are these longer pipes. Um, these are eight foot long pipes, which they're, they're stopped pipes, so that actually makes them sound um, as though they were twice as long as they actually are. So this is a 16 foot stop, and we'll get to see some of those pipes in just a minute. They're in another chamber. Um, but you can see this, this is part of where we have the problem is you have such that you have so much distance with the air um, that it becomes a problem when you're trying to do fast repeated notes, unlike this, these ones where the air doesn't have to travel nearly as far. But there's another issue that we have to take a look at. We're now inside the wind chest. This is where all the air is stored to make all the pipes go. And those little um, metal circular discs that you can see, that's what lets the air into the pipes so that they can sound. The organ is off right now. But if I pull that back, you can see there's a hole and the air goes up into the pipes. Now, for most of these, you know, it's, it's not much of a distance, but as you can see, you know, these ones, these ones are up in the ceiling of this room and all the pipes are overhead, but there are additional um, outlets, I, I guess you would call them, down here that are leading to some of our bigger pipes. And if I pull this back, you can see the air's got to go in there. 
But where does it go? Well, for that, we actually need to go outside of this chamber. And I know it's a little bit dark in here, but this is what we were just looking at. This is where the air gets let into the pipes. Now, as you can see, it's connected to these hoses, which come all the way out here. And these are what, these are some of our bigger pipes. Now, I'm gonna to try to put this in perspective, but this is kind of hard to do right here. So these are our true 16 foot pipes. You can see how long they are, but you can also see, I know it's kind of dark, but we are coming from all the way over there all the way out here. So what we were just looking at with the sub base in the choir chamber, this is probably three or four times the distance that the air has to travel to get into the pipes. And these are pipes that we are using for this piece. And as you can see, this one's a little bit better. It's a little bit better lit over here. But um, once again, you can see it comes all the way from the wall to these pipes over here, which go all the way up there. We also have <laughs> these stairs over here are actually pipes and I'll see if I can get around again it's gonna be kind of dark but if we go up here basically these pipes run the whole length of the wall um, where you can see those wires coming down that's actually still the pipe and it goes all the way over there um, so very long pipes that we're dealing with up here so, as you can see, when you combine the mechanics that we have down on the organ console, which I don't think you can see, well, maybe you can. Yes, there it is. <laughs> so, when you combine, combine the mechanics that we have working down there with the fact that the air has to travel so far, it makes those repeated notes very difficult. There's a lot of factors that kind of work against each other in making that happen. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, you have the much shorter distance with the littler pipes. Um, which makes it easy to play those repeated notes like we heard when I demonstrated. Um, all, all of this comes together to, to make this difficult. And as I was, I was listening to this um, out in the room, um, it just, it, it, it sounds sloppy. You know, you can hear that not every note is repeated and it, it, it sounds like they're mistakes even though they're not. And even though that I'm actually playing the notes, they don't all come off because sometimes I don't necessarily get the pedal cleared all the way. Um, and so th this is, it, it's been, it's really been a frustrating couple of days because I'm like, I, I'm ready to play this piece. I'm ready to go, but it doesn't sound good. Um, and I'm not going to put out something that doesn't sound good. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this work in such a way that, um, it'll still sound good. It'll still maintain the integrity of the original song, um, and get around the, the, the technical issues that we're having. Now you might be wondering, well, why do I have to use those stops? Well, I, I guess I don't, but the stops are less of the issue. The stops, the, these, these big 16 foot pipes here are what give us the, the really low sounds. Um, and so, you know, we, we kind of need that for this particular song. It's very, very bass heavy. If you listen to the original, it's a lot of um, uh, string bass and cello that really kind of drives everything forward. So you really need those low sounds to, to get um, the feel of the original piece. So we need those in there, but to try to do it with the pedals obviously doesn't work. The, I, think, I think the solution that I'm gonna have to go with is making it so I don't have to do nearly as many repeated notes. Um, the, the challenge with this is, is just getting it to sound good. Um, if I were, the, the passage that I demonstrated, if I were to leave the pedal out, it would sound fine, but you wouldn't get that really low rumbling that's part of that. So I just, I need to play around with that a little bit more and see what I can come up with. Normally I can come up with these solutions, you know, in 20 minutes, half an hour of playing with them, but I've spent a good two hours trying different things and still haven't really been able to come up with a good solution. So all this is to say the Kraken is coming, but it's, it's being put on hold temporarily until I can work this out. Because as I said, you know, I want to make sure that I put out a good quality, um, a, a good quality video, um, and a good quality sound, um, and performance. Um, and you guys know this, you know, you know that I, I, I strive to do the best that I can with all of these and, and maintain as much of the original as I can. So it's coming. Um, I, I'm going to get it out in May. I just, I don't know if it's going to be this week or next week. 
Um, things have settled down with my schedule, so I actually have more time to get in here and work, but I'm also preparing for a recital in three weeks, so I got a lot of other music to be working on at the same time. So just wanted to give you that little bit of an update today. wanted to actually get a video out there since I've missed the last two Fridays um, and just get things going again. So that's what's that's what's been going on and just wanted to keep you in the loop with all of that if you have any questions um about anything that you've seen in here um you know definitely let me know down in the comments be sure to ask that and go check out the organ miniature series if you want to see more of all of this and how it works i go into a lot of depth in that series and i'll try to remember to put a link in the description for you guys but thank you for watching today i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a like and leave me a comment. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media, and if you'd like to help support this channel, I would encourage you to consider becoming one of my Patreons. You can find links to all of these sites down in the description. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.